Hey, hey guys, so today I wanted to make a video showing you some tricks with the Easy Flash 3-in-1. So, um, mostly really it's going to be how to load a, um, a little save file onto this. So, um, it might be hard for people to do this and it, I know it took me a while to figure out how to do it because I wasn't 100% sure when I started, but, um, yeah, I'll show you from start to finish how to get a save file off the internet and straight onto this. And I'll also show you a couple other features along the way. So, um, yeah, there'll be bonuses, but pretty much that's going to be the main thing. You should already know how to load a game onto it. If not, I'll, I'll make another video on that. But um, the flash card of choice that I'll be using is the uh, TTDS. It uh, works in the old DS Lite, and that's all you really need. It's got a decent uh, size SD card. Um, it works on the factory firmware that it comes with too, but... Um, I've loaded a custom firmware onto it. It's uh, called YS Menu, so you'll see when it loads up now. It's a bit different to them. You need to download this app. So what I'll do is I'll put it into the description below. It's called a uh, GBA Exploder. So what it does is that um it interfaces with the uh, free and one card. The um software itself, like on this device that I, I've loaded the uh, custom firmware for the TTDS, also interfaces with it. But um, I haven't had any success using it. So we'll just use the GBA Exploder. So as you can see, I've got a couple games here in the, in the directory, and um, I'll show you guys how to make this if I haven't already shown you. So um, we'll just jump to the computer now, and I'll show you, and then we'll come back. Okay, hey guys, so um, over to the computer now. I'll be showing you how to uh, patch the game so you can actually use the save files you download off the internet and stuff like that. So um. First, what you're going to need to do is download this easy for clients. I'll put a link to it in the description. Um, I just downloaded it from this website, so I'll show you now. I um, I went to gbatemp.net and um, I found this uh, thread over here with a tutorial on how to copy games to your Easy Flash 4. Even though we're using a free in one, this would be the same. Uh, we need the same tool to patch our um, to patch our uh, our games. So what you can do is you can download the EC4 client from the official site from this link, or you can just download here. I'm pretty sure I just clicked this one because it was easier and it was faster. Otherwise, always can go to the official site. Just yeah, really click that. Bang, it's done. Probably go with that one. I'd recommend. Anyways, so once you've got it downloaded, just open it up, and um, I'll show you now. So yeah, just open it up. And then you can copy the contents to a folder you want and extract it. So that's what I've done here. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up that client. And it'll uh, make sure everything's set up properly. So this is what the client looks like when you open it up. So what you're going to want to do now is you're going to want to navigate to um, to your folder where you have everything saved and downloaded to, I guess. So you're going to want to click open. And then yeah, you do it through here. So I've just got mine um set to the folder, so you can go through here and find your folder and blah blah blah. Like you, you can figure it out. It's not too hard to do that. Get to your folder where you are. So this is the one that I was showing you that I ripped off my console or off my um actual legitimate cartridge earlier. And this one isn't patched as of yet. So what we do is we can open it up because this is a clean ROM, so they're the best ones to patch. And then um. Once you've got that there, actually, sorry, I'll show you. We can copy the name from here because um, it won't transfer the name for some reason. So copy it and then open it up, then paste it up in here. Leave this as flash type for the um, the save size. You don't want to change that. And then um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come here and bring this all the way down to the smallest one, which is 64 kilobits. Click that one there. And you want to click add save patch. Now, you also don't, don't worry about this. Don't worry about the reset because when you go into the config, it won't actually let you do that. So with the send path now, um, let's say you just want to send it to the same directory here. So find out where you've got this save to. So mine's in E. My apologies. You go easy. Four. Go in there. I'll just slap them in there. All right, press OK. Don't worry about that or that. Just press OK. And so this will output it into here now, the patched one. So um, what you can do is you go send. 
and it's done so that's patched now this version here and now what you can do is you can copy that over to your um, SD card that's in your in your um, DS cartridge so I'll show you now what that looks like I'll just grab it from my DS bear me one moment so once you plug it in it should look something like this and um, you have these uh, files here from when you uh, first created your thing so you guys should know how to do that so anyways you put it into the GBA folder and you put that's the game in there that's the patch one that I've already put in so I'm going to do it again now we go over to the save folder so GBA underscore save make sure you have that one there and so let's say you downloaded a file off the internet so um, we'll close this now we don't need this anymore actually no, we'll use it to go to a different place so um, what you need to download is this uh, tool called Visual Boy Advance so I've got it downloaded in here so you go into Visual Boy and you open it up and in order for this to work you actually do need to use the uh, patched file that we just made so you can copy and paste that into this folder too if you'd like to and um, what we'll do is we'll just open it up now so you go file open and you open up the patch file so just double click it is the game starting up and speed it up so blah 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 so this is the save file I loaded earlier so let's say I'll show you how to do that um, one moment so look we've got all these different save files here so let's just go with this one here SA1 this will probably be different so let's say you downloaded SA1 off the internet you go into here you go into import battery file and you have to do this in order for it to work so let's go SA1 so continue and resets it oh, it's the same one so we'll try again different one import SA2 or even SV we'll just try them one by one see if there's a different one now there should be so here we go this one's different so this one's a different file as you can see just from loading it like that so we'll start it up blah 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 yep you can walk around okay so once you've done that and you've downloaded the file so let's just say this is the downloaded one from the internet you gotta go into the menu here you gotta go down to save and you have to save it okay so make sure you save the game as it is so in that spot that you're in don't turn off the power obviously don't speed it up while it's saving either once it's done you gotta go file you gotta go export and go battery file so we'll call it this one here make sure it's the exact same name and you can leave it .sav whatever I'm just gonna rename mine to .sv5 because that's um well I won't name it to .sv5 because I'm, I've already got one named that but you can name it whatever you want that's this is just for purposes to show you that um that's how you rename them so let's pretend we did name it to .sv5 so whatever you save it I'm not going to save it because I've already done it and then what you do is you copy it, copy and paste this into your um, into your save folder on the SD card for your um, for your 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 flash card for the DS so that's it there just pretend we've copied and pasted that as well you guys can do it and follow along with me then you go here and make sure you safely eject it so now that's everything done on this end okay so just unplug it and also I'll put a link in the description to Visual Boy Advance as well so um, you guys are, I'm not going to tell you how to obtain the um, game files the GBAs you can figure out a way to get those yourself um, I don't condone piracy if the best you could do is uh, rip them yourselves and well good luck to that do, do that yourself as I've done but um, otherwise you have to find your own way to obtain them but anyways yeah now we'll go back to the DS and I'll show you what to do from there So now that we're back here, I'll show you uh, what to do once you've got the games in the folder. So let's say you've got Pokemon Emerald for example, and you want to load a save file onto it. So um, I've already showed you where to put the save files in the computer, alright, and um, I'll show you, we'll just quickly load this um, off the, uh, well, we'll load it off the 
not not the not the normal letter off the RAM because it's faster, and it's the same principle for the NOR as well. Just some um, it's already been written, and I don't want to write. We put it into save five, so we'll go down here to five, and we'll load this one. So it's loading into the RAM. As you can see, it's very quick because um, RAM is fast. It's compared to NOR and having to write to the NOR as a whole chip. Hmm. So there we go, the game's loading up. Seems to be functioning normally and that's off the SRAM. So that's fine. Perfect. So that works, it's a uh, crop save file, blah blah blah. It'll say that whenever you load the new save file and then uh, the the clock not working, I'm not sure if the battery's dead in mine or something is wrong with that. But anyways, we'll open up the game. So this is the one that I've downloaded off the internet. As you can see, I've showed this in a previous video as well. We'll go into the um, the PC, and you can see it's got all this uh, stuff from um, someone who's hacked it on an emulator on the computer. So, just go through it all. See, uh, I'm sure there's many items in the uh, in the bag. Let's see what he's got. Pokemon. Oops. I want Pokemon. Yes, yeah, so that's his main party is. And um see so yeah, his bag. Got all this stuff in it, blah blah blah. It's all got a lot of them too. Almost full, but anyways. So I'll show you now we can also jump between save files. So if you have a different one that you want to play for a specific time, maybe like one of your old ones, go back to GBA Exploder. And um, this will write what we just did. We don't want to do that, so we'll just leave it. I'll press B. If you want to, if you saved and you updated, then you can press A, and it'll save your update. Otherwise, um, we can just continue as normal. So, let's say we wanted to load a different save file. So let's go save file three. Let's see if this one works. I'm not 100% sure because after I patched the game this one may have stopped working so we'll give it a try because this was a previous save file I made with the with the old game before I had patched it but I just left it with the same name so let's give it a go so as you can see it's got the same message and here's the other save I made from just at the start of the game, just you know, testing it out and all. So yeah, that's um, how you can jump between save files on this. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And um, yeah, stay tuned for more. Peace out guys, and don't forget to subscribe.